Hi there, in today's video I'll show you how to make this very cute kitchen witch doll. It's a good luck charm for your house. You can also make accessories for the doll. To make the doll you would need a couple of things. First of all, you will need a clothespin, preferably with the stand like this. And this is uh, sold in a craft store. Also you need a wooden bead head that has an opening. Again, you can buy this in a craft store. Before we start making the doll, pre-drill a small hole and you also will need a pipe cleaner or wire that will go through here like this. I'm using a 4 inch length. In addition to that, uh, you will need scissors of course and a glue gun, some scrap black material, pre-made hair locks that you will, will attach it to the head, uh, a bunch of acrylic paint to make the clothes, we're gonna use black too, and as well you'll need a thread and a needle. Uh, I'm gonna be using a bigger brush and a tiny brush to paint the face. Also you'll need a felt material to make this witch hat, and in addition to that you'll need some embroidery floss or thread. We're gonna make the arms first. Cut like four inches of the pipe wire and then I'm going to bend it here so we know where the middle is. I'm gonna go through. To secure the arms, make sure it's in the middle. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue around it because I don't want the arms to be moving. Take your thread. Have a little bit of thread here because we're gonna be tying them at the end. So we're gonna start from the beginning and start wrapping around the wire. Try not to have the fuzzies, but if you have a little bit, don't worry because we're gonna be wrapping it twice and it will take care of that. So slowly take your time, continue wrapping until the end of the wire. Once you're done, also dab a little bit of glue. Like that, so it doesn't undo. And then wrap it like this. This will create a hand. And start wrapping around again. And this time, Try to cover as much as possible so that you don't have the fuzzies sticking out. Let's see. And then once you get closer to the end, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be covering it with clothes. Um, so you don't have to be very perfect. It's better to be more careful closer to the end. Now we're going to take the string and continue wrapping it around on the second arm. Once you feel it's closer to the end, I mean you have a little bit of fuzzy. Add a little bit of glue. Okay, make sure it's the same size. I'm just gonna double check. So it's one. Okay. That looks correct. And then you're gonna wrap, continue wrapping and make sure it's very taut because we don't want the string to unwrap. It's not enough, you can always add a little bit more to create, to hide any gaps. Continue wrapping. Okay. And once you get closer to the end, tie it together here. You want to keep a little bit of strings here so it doesn't untie itself. So it has some security. If you're worried about getting untied, you can always add a glue here. So it stays. So now you have the, the arms done. To attach the head, just add a little bit of glue here. Attach it. So when you light paint, a little bit of burnt sienna. 
So you can make it darker or lighter. A little bit of raw sienna. You don't have to paint it everywhere, just where the face is, but make sure there's no lines so it's smooth. If you want it, you don't even have to paint it. It's up to you. You can just keep it wood. Now we're going to paint the legs white. After cleaning the brush, we're going to paint the base black. Now that the white is dry, we can add stripes to the stockings. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I actually like it. A little bit messy. If you feel like you messed up on someone, just take a little bit of white and paint over it. Wait until the purple is, is fully dry. While this is drying, I'm going to prepare the clothing. So I'm going to use a scrap material. Cut a ribbon of the material. And you'll see. To make the hat, I have this pattern. I'm going to link that below in the description box. I also have detailed instructions on my blog, so make sure to visit my blog to get the PDF version for the pattern and detailed instructions of this tutorial. Sew it together right here, and then also sew it together around. Start by separating the locks and trying it out. We're going to warm up the, the glue gun. I think this will be enough locks. You can also cut some of the hair if it's too much. So you can either just paint little dots on the face, but I like to make it a little bit more complex and paint a whole full face. So I'm going to show you how I painted this face right here. Initially you'll need white paint and sienna. So I'm going to mark the eyes. So the eyes are going to be here. I'm marking them. And we're just painting little white circles. And then take a little bit of sienna and mark your nose. If 
it's a little bit too, too dark, take a clean finger and just press it and then lift to remove some of the color. And then we're gonna paint the lip, which is gonna be here. Take a little bit of the paint, add some nostrils. And take the blue, actually green will look really nice on this kind of doll too. I'll take the red and we're gonna paint the lips. I'm gonna take white and mix it with a little bit of red. This will be our cheeks. Now I'm gonna take Sienna and add Reckless. I'm gonna take a little bit of black. Draw the eyeliner. sure it's dry. Yeah, it's dry. Two dots right in the eyes. Same in the other eye. And the face is done. As you remember, we just cut out a ribbon. We're gonna go around like that and then like this and then here put some glue and cut off the rest of the piece the hair is going all over <laughs> so i'm actually i'm gonna get rid of the hair and put it in the head <laughs> so it doesn't go anywhere so now we're gonna take another piece of scrap of material and cut little bits. Maybe like, it doesn't have to be perfect, little triangles like this. So that would be our skirt. They don't have to be perfect. So now we're gonna attach them to the doll. Take your tool and cut a couple of strips. Now that I think about it, I should have done the hair later. <laughs> Take this and wrap around like that. There you go. Take another and wrap it around the arms. And 
Now let's cut another piece of tool, a little bit thicker. Fold it in half. Go around like that. And around like that. And then tie it around the waist. Get a little bit of glue. Glue to the side. Now we're gonna make the skirt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take about oh, let's see maybe about twenty inches. So we take the two fold it like this and then fold it again. A centimeter half an inch away from the edge and then leave out a little bit of that because it will actually go through <laughs> the tool. So you can keep it as is, like this, or you can cut, cut little pieces to make it a little bit rough. So we're pretty much done. I'm going to add a golden string. So we're going to tie it twice around. Tie a bow on the, in the back. Safety pin. Just to make it a little bit more fun, I'm going to cut a strip of green tool and tie a knot and create a bow and glue it to the head. Here you go. If you like to add additional accessories, I would recommend to make to make a broom like this. And this one is super easy to make. You just find little um, branches, cut them to the length that you like, and then take the thicker branch and then glue it all together, and then tie it with the gold thread like this, and then you're done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial please let me know in the comments below if you would want to see more doll making tutorials thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye